Hello and welcome back to our lessons. In this video, we are going to learn how to send a private message inside of Messenger right after the user have commented on our post. We have already created a comment auto-reply here and we are just going to edit this. All right, this is our auto comment. And as you can see, we have already configured this to use a keyword-based configuration. What we're going to do next is we're going to assign a chatbot flow for each of the filter set. When you assign a chatbot flow, what would happen is if the user comments on our post, then a chatbot flow will be sent inside of that person's Facebook Messenger inbox. Now, let's try to add a flow. You can assign a flow for your specific filter list by clicking the configure here. After clicking, a list of flows would show up. We can also create a brand new flow and then assign it to this filter set by clicking the add flow button. And now it's time to configure our brand new flow. Please note that when we are assigning a flow for our auto comment reply campaign, then we must follow a certain pattern. There must be a specific structure in order for our flow to be attached to our auto comment reply. We can read the pattern that we must follow on Marketing Master IO documentations. This is the Marketing Master IO documentation that shows us the correct chatbot flow structure for comment auto reply. It would show us the wrong chatbot flow structure and also shows us the correct chatbot flow structure. When sending a private message for the comment auto reply, we should only send one message because if we send multiple messages right after the user commented on our post, then only one message will get delivered and the rest would produce error 10900. What is 10900? So this is an error code that shows us that we are sending multiple messages because Facebook does not want us to spam our subscribers whenever they comment on our post. Facebook only accepts one message and if you send multiple messages, the rest will not be sent. So we are going to show you how to structure correctly in actual and what is the wrong structure and how to avoid it. So let's go back to our chatbot flow. Let us first create a wrong chatbot flow structure. So I'm gonna name this as wrong chatbot flow structure. Now, when you structure your chatbot flow this way and use it for your comment auto reply, then it will not be accepted. So what is the wrong way? The wrong way is if you create multiple messages or a chain of messages. So to create a chain of messages, just connect each message on the continue to next step connector. So another message here, maybe we can add an image and maybe we can add another message. So maybe we could also add a carousel here or a generic element. And now we have five messages in chain. What would happen is if we structure our flow this way, then our subscriber will receive five different messages. One, two, three, four, and five. So let's try to configure wrong chatbot flow structure message one okay all right i have already configured all of our five messages these five messages will be sent all at once because this is what we call a message chain now remember this is the wrong way to structure your flow if you want to use this for your auto comment reply you can still use this structure for any other campaign but specifically for comment auto reply if you want to use this as your private message this kind of structure will not be accepted. Let's try to send a test. All right, we have already received our test message. And as you can see, we have multiple messages here. Message one, message two, and an image. This is considered as message three and message four. And here, message five, the generic element. So we have five messages sent all at once because it was sent on a message chain. So if we check our chatbot flow structure here, any messages that is connected to the continue to next step will be sent together with that message. So this is the wrong structure for your auto comment reply. Now let's try to use this flow for our comment auto reply. So let's close this and then we're going to search this on the message flows and try to use it. And as you can see, it is not accepted. There is a warning here. You cannot use this flow. This flow's first message contains more than one message. This flow will produce error 10900. So if you click the learn more, we will be redirected to the messenger documentation that shows us the correct chatbot flow structure 
structure for comment auto reply. Now, since this flow is not accepted because we used the wrong structure, how can we structure our flow and how can we correct this flow? So let's edit this flow and we are going to correct the structure so that we can use this for our comment auto reply. If you have flow like this, it's easy to correct this structure. All you have to do is to add a quick reply or a button. So let's say I'm going to add a button and for the button text, let's just say I'm going to use show me more and then use the next step here and then confirm the changes. And instead of connecting to the continue to next step, we are going to connect it using the show me more button. Great. This is the correct chatbot flow structure if you want to use it for your comment auto reply. Now, instead of wrong chatbot flow structure, we are going to name this as correct chatbot flow structure. And then we are going to save this flow. After saving this flow, we are going to use this for the comment auto reply campaign. On the configuration, let's try to select this chatbot flow. And as you can see, it is now accepted by our campaign because we now structured our chatbot flow correctly. For the sake of lesson simplicity and for the purposes of this video only, we can use this chatbot flow for the rest of our private message configuration. So let's say we are going to use this same flow for filter number two and for filter number three and for our private replies as well. Note that you can use any chatbot flow for your configuration. Example, you can use different chatbot flows for each of your filter sets. But again, for the purposes of this video, let's just use the same flow for all of our configuration. Now let's confirm the changes and test our auto comment campaign again. So let's go to this campaign's page post and then add another comment. Remember, always use your personal profile and let's try to type keyword one. And as you can see, we finally received the private message that we set on our filter set. So let's try to add another message here. Let's say keyword five. All right, we have received another private message on our messenger. So this is how it works. You might notice that if you want to see the public comment reply for each of these comments, simply refresh your page. After refreshing the page, you should be able to see the comment auto replies here for our test comments. And because we set a private message for each of the filter sets, that's why we are receiving a private message on our messenger as well. So this is the correct structure. We only received one message instead of multiple messages. Again, structure your chatbot flows correctly and only send one message. Avoid spamming your subscribers by sending a chain of messages because if you use chain messages, meaning more than one message, then it will produce error 10900. And that marks the end of this video. On the next video, we are going to discuss more configurations for our comment auto reply campaign.